I never get sick of that. This is a tripwire prank you can build in a Crunch Labs build box where when the wire's tripped, it fires four balls at your unsuspecting victim. The only downside is it might not work if your target spots the string. So what would happen if instead of a string, it was triggered invisibly using a laser and a microcontroller? And then what would happen if you invited an entire first robotics team from Oakland? Whoa, you guys brought a robot. To help you put a bunch together for an Indiana Jones showdown with the CEO of YouTube. Well, that's exactly what we're about to find out. Welcome to Crunch Labs. So after a quick welcome to Crunch Labs. Nice! <laughs> you did it. This is a claw machine from Denny's we stole from them. <laughs> and some tennis ball cannon action. Oh! oh! That was close, buddy. Where I came very close to losing $10,000. And then some foam pit acrobatics. She got it! The Nerf gun arsenal was discovered. You guys ever fired a Nerf gun? Yes! Attack! Ah! Retreat! Oh! I need bullets! Bolts right there! Ah! Truce! Truce! <laughs> So after waving the white flag, we decided to get the creative juices flowing by splitting up for a four-team egg drop competition. This is your material. You have all this to work with. What are you guys thinking here? Well, we're, we're gonna make a parachute. Ooh, parachute. One. Ooh, I like that. Yours looks the coolest. How are we doing in here? Like a bed of feathers? I hope you use all of those feathers somehow. What about the bag? Can we use the bag? Just shove everything in there. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. One minute! Don't tell the other teams, but this one looks the coolest. Wow, hey guys, don't tell the other teams, but this one looks the coolest. 30 seconds, you guys ready? Two, one, all right, time up, time up. I'm gonna be honest, we didn't give you guys much time or much material, so if any of these eggs survive, it'll be a miracle. And after the first three teams dropped theirs, it was looking like we just have to whip up a bunch of scrambled eggs. Correct? Uh, oh, a little bit of yuck. Okay, let's count her down. Three, two, one. Oh, someone check it out. That looks good to me. Hey! And this was the perfect conclusion because at this point we got word that Neil Moham, the CEO of YouTube, was only 45 minutes away, which meant it was time to get prepping on our arsenal of laser mounted tripwires. Today, we're going to build a tripwire, but because we're leveling it up today, we're doing an electronic version. Because that's the problem with the tripwires, you see it, right? So, what if the tripwire was invisible? So, we're going to tweak this typical build. By removing the trip wire, we're gonna make an invisible wire literally using lasers. So this becomes your wire through the air, and as soon as you break that beam, then it will send a signal to this microcontroller, which sends a signal to the servo, which then effectively pulls the string for you, and then the balls will shoot at your unsuspecting victim. Should we test it? Okay, here we go, here we go. Fingers crossed. Oh, and then it shoots ya. And now that the building was underway, with the kids being very careful not to shine the lasers anywhere near each other's eyes, I snuck away with one of the first robotics team members to have him tell me all about the robot that they brought with them today. So you're telling me as a seventh grader, you are on the high school team? Yes. And you helped make this? Yes. I really like coding, yeah. robots, these two mortars. In stories like Antonio, where the passion for science and engineering that grows from participating in programs like FIRST Robotics are super common. I've personally seen this with a bunch of my nephews, and there's a bunch of data showing these experiences have a lasting impact on their lives and careers, which is why I'm kind of stoked to announce that my good friends at Google.org are providing a total of $10 million in grants to FIRST Robotics and the REC Foundation to help 300,000 US middle schoolers participate participate in robotics programs. And even cooler is that since talent is evenly distributed while opportunity is not, FIRST and the REC Foundation will use this grant money to focus on communities and students who traditionally haven't had access to things like robotics programs. Sincere, you set a world record here today. Where the heck is the laser coming from here? Way over there? That is legendary. So after checking back in with the group, final test and preparations were underway. Which was good because moments later, Neil arrived, which meant it was time to put our engineering handiwork to the test. 
Neil, we got a surprise for you. Come here. Uh oh. Sounds a little dubious. <laughs> so these amazing kids from the Robotics hey Club in Oakland. We made a deal, Neil. At the end, there's a pedestal there that has my diamond play button. If you don't make it there without getting shot by a bunch of these, then you owe all of us a thousand subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> you just kind of have to walk down this, do anything you can to make it there without getting hit by these balls. There's no wires, clearly. So I mean, what? I mean, I know I could just straight walk, yeah, right? Yeah. There's probably nothing to be worried about. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I made one. Okay. Okay, I think I got another. No! Whoa! <laughs> yeah. It's game over. All right. Hey! Yeah! I'm not doing that well. Yes! Those are thousands of subs. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> All right. Good job, wow. everyone. Some pretty good engineering. Oh, yes, yeah. I keep getting shot. Now it's just a free for all. And as a reward for a job well done, I gave them all one more chance for the $10,000 shot in the tennis ball cannon. And Neil has graciously agreed to pay for it if you get it. <laughs> right. So I get it. Okay. Learn something new every time. <laughs>